Welcome on in to Shot Quality Live BetCast, the only show that uses Shot Quality Live data to attack the board live in the minute. Tonight, our first ever episode of NBA BetCast. That's right. You know, kind of slowed down on the college basketball front. Of course, Musa, last time we were hanging out, it was in Las Vegas at Circus Sports shooting the episode for the second round first. First round, second round? I don't even remember at this point. I was in Vegas for five nights. But how you doing, bud? You get first home round, safe? First round. Everything? First round? You get home safe? Everything going well? Yeah, I mean, I got home safe, yeah. Everything's going well. I'm tired. And so <laughs> I feel like I was getting a little sick on the last day. Nothing to do with Vegas. I think I might have just caused something. But uh, I'm happy to be home. Circa was a blast. That was my highlight of Vegas for sure. It was not just like us backcasting from there, but the atmosphere was pretty sick. Especially yeah, that no, Yale Auburn game. It was a great and time, Florida really. What, oh, Yale Auburn. I still can't believe Yale's out. We'll we'll go over a couple of the college games tonight. Of course, two games on right now in college, six in the NBA, and we will be playing some NBA live bets from now through around mid-April when the regular season comes to an end, and then of course we'll have a playoff schedule for Betcast as well. But things might look a little bit different in the NBA because we're just getting our footing again. Same as what it was like when we were just starting off in December with this software and and attacking college games for the first time. We are going to be learning a little bit about what sticks, what works. I know, Musa, you've been grinding a little bit uh, quietly, testing things out behind the scenes, getting ready for this switch that was inevitable because we only have so many more games left in college. Uh, But, no, what what have you found? We have some of the games up right now, so we already see... A few, a few spots. So tell me what you're seeing. Tell me what you're liking. And maybe let's get our first NBA episode play going, if you like anything or not. Yeah, no. Um, I've There's different parameters, I would say, when it comes to college basketball and the NBA. I found that the sides and team totals are good. Now I have to go offshore to get the team total. Um, so I might have to wait for half here. But luckily, the Magic Warriors, which is the NBA play of the day after winning yesterday's play of the day, or inaugural play of the day, looks like an over spot, which kind of sucks because, you know, it goes against we want the over. Yeah. But it's just yeah. the two teams are cold. So I like that spot a lot. Charlotte, Cleveland, under. I'm probably going to wait for half on both just in case I'm going to take a team. Um, but if you have your books open and you don't have to wait like me because I'm in Arizona, go for it. Like I would take Golden State over. I would take the Charlotte Hornets under. I've had luck on both sides. Why? You know, why Golden State things. over not and not the Magic? You, are you, was that no, 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 no. I'm the saying the that's magic? probably a good spot because it's about even. Like I remember yesterday, the Lakers were playing the Bucks. This is what I mean. The okay. Lakers were playing the Bucks, and it was like I think at the halftime, Milwaukee 58, the Lakers 41. It said, said the score should have been 56 all. So the Lakers were well underperforming, and the Bucks were right where they were at. So I took over 220, 216 and a half, I think it was, and my buddy took the okay. team on the Lakers over, and the Lakers over hit with like two minutes left. But the game over didn't hit because the Bucks fell apart. The Lakers got back to what they were expected to score. Luckily, I got overtime, so we both hit. But he's sitting there going, nice call with two minutes left. Like, yeah, nice call. So I'm sweating my own because I took the whole game. So maybe that's something. Maybe it was just a one-off. I don't know. I'm like a three days doing this. But he Interesting. also yeah, no, no, yeah. We've been we've been betting so much college basketball live. You know what? Sitting something like uh, what what was our combined like a almost won four hundred bets and lost two hundred bets. It was pretty epic. Yeah, I, as of show thirty three, we kind of got a little. We got to go back and track some plays. We'll be we'll be real. Getting to Vegas, making plays, trying to keep track of everything was a lot. Uh, we only have records through I think like show thirty three right now. We're going to go back and figure it out for sure. But yeah, we we where we left off most, we were three hundred and eighty one and two hundred. You, you and can put 90. it up. We didn't bet too many games to make a big difference. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, I know, but it's an old one. The date's wrong. I, I understand what you're saying, but. Still, we were we've been doing really well, and I'm excited to go into the NBA. But I think it's going to be a little different. And we'll we'll make a play. I have my first play. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do, and it's actually going to go against the pick of the day, which is the over in the Warriors Magic. But that's a pre flop play, and you know we can't really sit here and you know let that sway us. Like, oh, I have a play on it already. No, these are independent. That's how it works around here. 
Uh, these are independently fueled plays. And, and so here's what we're going to get into. And here's what we're sort of going to be looking out for as we make the transition and we start to use shot quality live data to handicap the NBA live. I think what we're going to find, and I've said it before, but just so that everyone knows my hypothesis and what I'm going to be testing and you can fade or tail accordingly, um, is that this data tends to actually identify hot and cold stretches uh, prolong, for prolonged periods rather than indicate when a team is going to regress back to the mean. In college, you know, you don't have this collection of the best players in the world, at the same level. NBA, truly, I mean, you know, not every player in college goes to the NBA and every college player in the NBA was a bona fide stud, right? So like to make to make the NBA from college, you were really, really good, right? And, and the NBA is essentially the collection of the best shooters in the game, uh, combined with athleticism, height, you know, the, the whole package. So I think when shot quality tends to say, like we have with the Orlando Magic, and this is one of the most long-winded buildups to a play I've ever had. <laughs> I was going to say, ever, okay. Our first ever NBA episode, our first ever official NBA first play. Yeah, we're going to go on the Orlando Magic to stay cold. Not to get back to normalcy, but to actually stay cold here. And we're going to go under on the Orlando Magic team total because a lot of these models that price the live lines for all these things are going to assume regular performance. And we have something here saying, no, these guys are ice cold. They should be doing so much better, but they're missing. And we're going to keep up with that. It might turn out to just be an ugly night for the Orlando Magic. So I'm going to pull up. Uh, a live team total here. See what I can get in at. Haven't even opened up my book today. Still literally settling back in from March Madness. Sweet 16 coming back tomorrow. Oh, man, it is it is a crazy time to be uh, to be a college basketball analyst. But Moose, this is a uh, is an interesting spot, right? Do you what do you think of this strategy? You think it's going to be the right one or you think I'm wrong and we should be betting the over? I'm interested in which way you think. It's well, I don't, I don't want to sound like an ass, but I, I hope you're wrong because that goes against okay. everything I've ever done in my life when it comes to I get it. I get it. I get it. But <laughs> I know, but this is it's so different because we're so used to doing college players and they're not as good. I, I know, but couldn't like, you say the same thing? Like the Magic are getting good looks. These are NBA players. Let them go into the locker room, get their little halftime, you know, OJ. Come, not yeah, so no, look, I maybe and, they get the peanut butter and jelly sandwich in the locker room. I'm yeah, or excited to see clear. which way it goes. I might very well be wrong in next episode. We're switching the direction of this thing, going the opposite way, Say, and I have my hand up saying, nope, nope, that one's on me. You know, wrong. Uh, but I think what I've seen a little bit in the times we've dabbled, they tend to to continue to miss. So uh, let's go to the, I think it's usually uh, game props, which is like the last one I'm looking at DraftKings right now. Uh, that's not their team props. Okay, here we go. Orlando Magic under 97 and a half. We're going to lock that in minus 125 as our first play of the day. Kind of kind of heavy, but these markets are going to be hard. 30 cent markets usually, oh, fell. Now 95 and a half minus 110, but hopefully you all can get it in the All right, so that's the first NBA play. We're going to take the hit on the chin there and go with the 95 and a half. I still think this should be so, really so a under nice under 95 spot. and a half on the Magic? Under 95 and a half team total on the Magic right now. It's up available at DraftKings at this moment. You can play it. Wild. I mean, what do you think? What do you think I that's, mean, I'm going to honestly high, play right? the over here in a minute. I'm going to see what the live line ah. is on it. I can get team live said, lines I'm an on idiot. my – book on my offshore book i'm looking right now warriors magic Let's see if i can get in i you want to talk about spinning wheel i get the definition of spinning wheel on my offshore let's see what happens here maybe I yeah can press it's the usually pretty bad on the offshores now you know who does not have the spinning wheel and i i really appreciate the lob move so we get to talk about our awesome partner here at betcast that would be sport trade sport trade offers an elite betting experience. Sportrade is a betting exchange, not the same thing as a sports book. The difference is, of course, that you are betting against and filling orders that other users have placed, are offering. And you know that means you get a lower hold, you get instant in-play betting. They also have really great text support available, talking with real people at all times, not like some other you know sports books out there or some of the other experiences. And there's no, you know, issue getting down at the same level that you can have at certain books. It's available in New Jersey, Colorado, more states to come for 2024. We actually had the CEO, Alex Kane, on the show 
with us while we were in Vegas. So that was a lot of fun. And we really do like Sport Trade. If you want to go try out Sport Trade, go to getsporttrade.com. Use code SQB and you will get 3% back up to $500 in your first week of bets placed. We also have a really great March Madness promo coming out. We'll be talking about that a little bit on Friday. But yeah, if you can use Sport Trade, definitely recommend it. It can help you just make more money on your live bets, slip, you know, better margins. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. That will increase your ROI. That's why we love Sport Trade. It works really nicely. All right. This Orlando Magic line, guys, falling. 94 and a half. I'm already seeing. So maybe if you, and you guys heard me talking and gotten in the line before I placed it. Maybe you're holding a better line than me. I hope so. The goal here is for us to win, of course. It's a little bit difficult to both stream and use the technology, so you can probably do better than what we do at home. And if you want to try out the tech, make sure you go check it out on shockqualitybets.com. We have a, a pretty good promo, Crush, Crush March is still going on for some college basketball, of course. We're doing some NBA, still got a lot of college. We'll even look at the college games, but Crush March for 40% off your first membership, any membership you want. Get in for the week, get in for the rest of the month. Try out NBA for the whole year. We got WNBA, we got NCAA women as well as March Madness. There's so much going on in shock quality. It's just, it's a lot of fun. And there's more stuff coming every single day. We actually moved, I don't know if you even knew this, we just pushed a new update to the Score Center. Maybe some of you guys who have access to yes. what we're looking at here uh, saw what we're looking at. Let's go in and check out this Orlando Magic game. Of course, what we were looking at was the multi-view, as I like to call it. This is the single game view. And we have finally... Big shout out to again, we do it all the time. Big shout out to Mike McClure, who I could shout out a million times over. Um, we added fouls, guys. We put in player fouls so that you can now see how things are working in terms of players who might be on the floor and how that availability and the shot quality score combined can help you understand who might be able to play a lot, who's going to ride the bench because they got their three fouls in the second quarter. Draymond Green. Um, and, you know, maybe who's just especially in college, right? It can be such a big deal. NBA, same difference. Uh, important to be able to see that. So fouls are there. Team fouls are now there as well. So you can start to understand. The Warriors had 10 fouls in the first quarter. Pretty crazy. Uh, they're really struggling here. Both teams a little cold, looking a little better for the Magic. In the Your boy quarter. Moses Man. Moody got three fouls in 11 minutes. Where did, quick, where did Moses Moody play college basketball? Three, two. Uh, Texas Tech? I can't Arkansas. even. Arkansas. Ah, the colors. I got the color. Like, you know, I saw, cool. I saw yeah. Jersey. Speaking I saw of Arkansas. Jersey in my, in my... What got you got? I got two. I got two, a two for one button there. I got over 197 and a half in the Warriors Magic game. So, I mean, that's you're a lot. For that. And then I have under 151 and a half. And you're going to be like, what the heck game are you talking about? I'm talking Norfolk State IPFW. That's on the college. Oh, we're going side. college. Yes, yeah, right. we have the half time in both games. Want. So I thought I would jump on that one okay. really quickly. Oh, Jonathan Brin tells us in the comments that Green got ejected earlier. Color me shocked. Oh, he's ejected. Um, All right. We don't have that. We don't have that on the uh, on the interface yet. But we might we might need to have a little like. Who did he uh, kick, Jonathan? Let me know. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, what do we play? We have played the Orlando Magic team total under. I'm adding into the sheet now. We are uh, we are missing our dutiful sidekick Maximilian. Even though we're you know he's usually part of the show, usually here. Uh, he he's behind the scenes getting everything right. We'll make sure that the play is recorded. We have the sheet. We'll post the link. So, yeah, as you always, have under seconds. 97 and a half in the Magic game. I have under over. 95, under 95 and a half. Unfortunately, under five, five and a half. Get the 97 and a half in. But yes, magic team total under 95.5 minus 110 is what I was able to get. Let me just change up the title here, get everything working, and then I will post the link to the sheet that we use every single time uh, right here for you guys. So you can all tune in with us and watch the place. It's probably going to be a little bit lighter. We'll try to go faster. But again, this is the first ever, first ever time that we are doing NBA betcast because normally it's college. You have the college on the screen, but Moose, you just played what now? So I got under 151 and a half in Norfolk, Purdue, Fort Wayne. Um, wow, I can't believe they're playing today. And then I have uh, the over 197 and a half in the Magic Warriors game with a couple more waiting to get. I mean, we have first quarters almost done, and we have half times almost ready to yep. rock in the NBA. Yeah, we got, we got a lot. I mean, again, it's going to be really interesting. We're sort of feeling it out tonight. I will – I 
tend to think that we also have another play here in college while we're here at the half in the NIT. And I will I will issue a, a small apology here. I, I called the CBI, the NIT today, and the pick of the day email, and I feel kind of stupid. So, uh, yeah, that's that's on me. Now, I, I, I like I that like under CBI more. I'm a big CBI guy, actually. In Vegas, yeah, it's I remember been a, it's been a great Seattle. Tournament. What's that? It's been a great tournament. I know, but I remember betting it when we were in Vegas, and that, like my buddies would be like, "What are you like? What are you sweating? We covered this game." I'm like, "Yeah, but I have Seattle minus seven against Delaware State." They go, "What now?" Yep, it's a CBI. Yep. Come on, everyone's watching it. CBI, you know? baby, you got it. All right, I'm gonna get in on UNLV, who is expected to be tied here and is actually down by almost 20 points. Taking the spread, I don't think they get back into this in terms of the money line. But you're going to give me a plus 16 and a half right now. I'm going to take my time, make sure it is the best available line at the moment. Let's, let's lock in a little bit of a college play. I, I, I do think this is the right way to take it. Um, I'm having trouble seeing live scores from Action App. I'm going to have to go over to BetStamp. I like to use these aggregators. You want to make sure that you know they're giving you the best thing. Yeah, I'm seeing plus 16 and a half. A, a current minus 120 is the best price. So let's get in there and lock in. All right, all right. I well, Jonathan doesn't it. get the logic there if you take a new NLV, I don't think. Logic? I think you take a 37 37 tie game and take the points that you're going to begin with a UNLV logic. team that's better logic. Than say, logic is a shock quality says play. And what we've been doing here for the entire season, what's led to us, you know, having this, you know, 56, 57 plus percent hit rate is not, is not letting my human brain make any of these choices because I'm not as smart as shock quality. I wish. Um, so, yeah, when shot quality says the score should be tied and we can get points and, and we clearly can go in and, and there's usually data. I and mean, we're going fast and we're rolling and scrolling and, and zooming and, and just going crazy at it. We usually don't have the time to slow it down and, and check out exactly what we're seeing. But we can go in here today. We got time today, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, you're seeing just ice cold from UNLV. We can take a look at the shots that they're taking. Not exactly bad. Uh, Mid-range shots, not too high. Eight on both sides. Just looks like they're missing a lot of these shots. Maybe a few more bad than what Seton Hall has. But a 41% good rate. That means the looks are solid. You have Justin Webster and, and Boone here, both pretty massively underperforming. A combined seven expected to be 15. Fouls, not really a huge problem. I, I mean, the other Boone brother and Shane Noel, Maybe some foul issues, but uh, Kadari Richmond just absolutely going off. Might expect him to have a bit of a slower second half. Shot quality definitely does, and we've seen it in college. Tends to work this way. Look, not 100%. Not, not promising you if you go bet your house, you'll have two houses by the end. But, um, yeah, no, this should be – it's a good place to get in. It's a lot of points for a tournament game yeah. that, you know, could could sort of exit that realm of, of like, seriousness towards the end and – Maybe UNLV just wants to make it a little bit more uh, – less embarrassing. I always see it all the time. Game's over. There's four minutes left. You're down 15. You're down 20, and you, you cut it to a 14-point game. Yeah, no, and I, I get where – like, everyone plays live bets differently. Like, there's a reason you have more bets than I do. I play it differently. So, like, if I was answering Jonathan's question, it would be, okay, they're plus 18 and a half at half – or down plus 17 and a half at the half, down 18 – my thing is, like, I always want eight points of value on the spread. So let's say shot quality says UNLV should have won that half 38-31 in a game they're down 18. Then I jump in on it. But everyone does it differently. Right. Like, you take all these yeah. – you took a plus 45 or whatever. The first it was 40 episode. and a half. Yeah, it yeah, was 40 and a half. First, like, I would have the never first ever that. big one. Because <laughs> they, 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 were, they were losing still in the shot quality score just by, like, only 10 and not 40. Yeah. And they ended up covering because, you know, they reverted back to the mean. Again, everyone plays it differently. Whatever you're comfortable with, but just I would say stick no, to I it. Like, I like the conversation. This is good stuff. Honestly. Yeah, no, this just is stick exactly to what, what we're doing. doing. So if the two, if the second half plays out like that, right? If they are to tie the second half, I think we would, uh, we'd probably be okay, right? Like the idea is that isn't that they're going to tie the second half? Is that they're doing better than what has currently happened? So that they are expected to kind of come back into it naturally. But if we think that it would have been tied, we can take that line expecting them to kind of overperform is most likely what shot quality is thinking. Yeah, there's, there's different, there's different schools Look, of thought. 
And maybe maybe there's a distinction there. Maybe that, you know, maybe Jonathan's onto something and there is there's ways that you can continue to dig in and and grind away at what these edges truly mean. And and maybe it's a signal that they would need to be winning for you to take some of that. Or maybe you do need a bigger line. Maybe you want 21 plus. Develop your own strategies. This stuff is so new, guys. Like, you know, in terms of the number of bets that have been placed with this technology compared to the number of bets that will likely continue to be placed forever, we're at the start. So I'm really excited. We at Shock Quality are continuing to dive into what the data results in. Like, you know, we now have a full season of data. We're going to be, you know, really just attacking it in the offseason, finding out which parts of these live bets were most profitable when, you know, what type of margins were the best in terms of shock quality score to the actual score to the total to the spread. It's going to be fun. Really excited for season, I guess, two next year, but we're going to be here for the summer, for the spring, NBA, WNBA, live betting, everything we can, trying to find edges and uh, having some fun while we do it. Um, let's go. All right. Uh, let's, let's keep grinding. Let's see what we got here. So a couple games at half moose, are you playing any? You took the over, even though I don't agree. Yeah, that's, that's thank you, Jerry. It's yeah. At the end of the day, it's just positive regression. Uh, we trust the signals, trust the arrows, and uh, you know. Except there's a little disagreement right now in in how shot quality between Musa and I, which is how we attack the NBA. I took the under on the Orlando Magic team total when I started talking about it, it was 97. When I locked it in, it was 95. Uh, it, it's currently a little bit lower, so. Uh, I'm definitely liking that. They have not been scoring too much. I do think that shot quality effectively works as a faster temperature check. Um, ooh, let's okay, interesting one here. I don't know. I, I Moose, are we? We should bet against each other here. I know. I guarantee you, you're feeling the under. That's and exactly I'm, what I'm doing. I'm gonna take I'm under. Feel, I want. Right. I feel like they're just gonna keep on, you know, lighting it up. I'll go like, first. I'll go first. I'll what's go first. gonna 241 and a half in the Cavaliers. Your turn. Uh, you know, I'm going to let you have it. I'm not, I I can't actually put us on opposite plays, but I think this is a really interesting one because if you get it wrong, I think it continues to support my hypothesis. So I'm just going to watch. I'm not going to root against you. I'm not just going to give the – the books an effective, you know, 10 cent win either way between the two of us. I won't, I won't do it. This show is on the under. I just have my questions. I, I think they're good. I know. I agree. They are good. But like, like J Jerry Davis said, the, the, the game closed at what is it? 207 and a half. That's right there. Um, yeah, it's 207 and a half. Like that's what Vegas thought the game was when it started. Like the Cavs are a good defensive sure. team. One of the best teams in the East. They're third in the conference. I know they're banged up. I think like Struess was hurt or something. I don't know. I, I got to get more antiquated or more into my NBA, you know. Just got to turn on those notifications for the underdog bot, bro, and then and you'll know yeah. everything you need to know. Uh, I see Sam Merrill, Utah State's got 14 points. Yeah, I mean, Sam Merrill's got 14 points. So I loved him at Utah State, but what does he average per game? I mean, that's the type of game it is. It means everybody's scoring. I feel like, you know, it's just <clears> tough. And I don't know. I don't know. how How's my uh, line here for the Magic doing? All right, team total sitting at 95 and a half minus 120 still. So right where I got it. So if you want to get in with me and test out my theory, you're going to take the under on the team total, the magic. If you're going to pay 10 cents more, I paid paid minus 110 when it happened, uh, when it fell to that. Um, yeah, I knew something yeah, was I saw up. Some, I knew something some good was up. News, good. Some good news for the Cavs tonight. Some rare good news for the Cavs. Uh, but yeah, and then if you like the Musa way, if you like the old fashioned way, the way that we did over in the college where we expect, you know, things to regress to expected rather than maybe stay stuck, hot or cold. And that's uh, that's that's the game here. I saw this, too. I saw this when we first got on and I was like, shoot, I want to get the Nets. I think it was like a really close game and they had a way out performing and now they're up seven and they were I think it was tied. I'm going to be an idiot here, probably going to regret it, but I'm going to jump on, even though Gooey Glove says Wizards live, I'm going to jump on the Nets, minus seven and a half. They're up seven, so they just have to win the second half. And Shockwell, he said that they pretty much kicked ass in the first half. 
Um, Wizards 1.30 points per possession, way overperforming while the Nets are doing what they're expected to do. And I know the Nets are a much better team than the Wizards. Anytime I think of the Wizards, I think of when um, was it Kyle Kuzma was laughing at how no one wanted to be the team to lose to the Pistons. And now they're basically the Pistons. So I'm going to take Nets minus seven and a half. I do see they've won three in a row. The Wizards, yeah, but. I, I have, I have, and who am I? Who am I to stand in front of a man determined to win some live bets? I, I'm approaching today as cautiously as possible. I'll be you see, I'm doing the exact opposite. Oh, I should probably say that I'm doing a half unit, by the way, on all these because I'm okay. still getting new okay. to the NBA. But oh, half unit, it's a little fun. Except what I the, normally, in, that's what I normally do anyway. So no, no need for announcement for me. Oh, which you just do? made me realize I, I did a half unit on Norfolk State, which I should never have done because I'm versed in college basketball. We'll see what happens there. Missed out on Nets. Yeah, uh, we'll the see dead. how the Nets go. I, I think interesting spot. Interesting spot. This this NBA stuff, you know, it's a different beast, man. You got to you gotta attack it a little bit differently. You don't have, you know, kids that have that same variability within their game. I think with pros, it's like – Teams are either going to – wow, Seton Hall starting off with a 9-0 run to enter the half. Um, but, yeah, I think pros tend to kind of get stuck in hot or cold mode a little bit longer. And, and even to the point where it's like for extended periods of time, like multiple days, multiple games, where guys can just kind of go through slumps, um, which you just don't have. Yes. I got play. Got play. Yeah, clearly. What do you got? Got play. I am taking – went back over to the other side. I – wait, did I get this right? I think I did. Uh, I – this doesn't make any sense, but I guess this is why I got it in it. The freaking offshore books. IPFW <laughs> minus two and a half at Ooh. plus 162. I must have messed up somewhere. I like that one. I like that one. Well, I still like it, even though it's plus 162. I, that's you amazing, in my opinion. If it's really 49.51, my book is showing, again, this is offshore, it's showing that IPFU's up 10, and this is not right. Also, they would have given me a way different Norfolk's up, up two, two right now. Norfolk yeah, they would have given me a way better number if it truly was. A, a 20 to 8 run to start the second half for the Norfolk State Spartans here. Not exactly what you want to see. Oof. No, oh, no, I don't know. Not. All right. What did you take? What number did you get? I got minus two and a half, but it was at plus 162. So I'll just take money that's line. Like, and make it like PFW? Minus 110. So let's just say money line minus 110 because plus 162 is not what I meant to get. Uh, Good luck, my friend. So let's say that's IPFW insane. money line minus 110 because I would say You're minus going, two and I half, love plus it. 162 about equals, in my opinion. You're going running, right you know? into the buzzsaw here. You really, you really are not having any fear. You're just attacking it. This is what has won us a lot of picks. I like it a lot. That's a big difference. Lot. That's a big difference. It's a big, it's a big difference, man. Norfolk is on fire. They have players, multiple players in double digits that are expected to maybe combine. They were solid last year, honestly. Christian Inge was like their seventh best player. Now he's their best player, though, because they had like nine, seven-year seniors. Yeah, I mean, always, always a threat to come out of the MIAC. Who, who was it? Was it Longwood this season, right, that, that won that game over them? I don't even remember. It has been a little too long. But, uh, yeah, no, this is, this is going to be a tough one. I hope Purdue-Fort Wayne figures that out for you coming out. So I think I'm on everything. I'm on this game on the under, and I'm on this game on Purdue Fort Wayne, and then I'm on the Cavs under the net yeah. spread yep. and the Magic over. Only game I'm missing now is Hawks Blazers and Clippers 76ers. Oh, and yeah, oh, I, I mean, guess go look at this Knicks Raptors game. This is this has your name written all over it. Oh boy, what does that mean? Your Knicks. Oh my! I don't know. They're, they're so underperforming. I feel like you're going to take the over here. You're going to be like, "Well, they're the hottest team in the God's green earth." So let's take the over here. Maybe, yeah. Well, I mean, this is this one had such a low total. I was looking at it. I think it closed around like yeah, 111. It was 112 this morning. So it, it continued to come down. You're getting 200 or 211. Sorry, you're getting 240 right now. 239 and a half. Yeah, I'm gonna keep testing this hypothesis, guys. Let's let's go over. I'm making the bets, and you're not, dude. 
You've seen Freaky Friday. Cool. Switch places. I'm you're Lindsay Lohan. Wait, Lindsay Lohan, Jamie Lee, Clint Lee Curtis. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You've seen the are movie. Are you are you Jamie Lee? Uh, well, I would think. I I'm, mean, yeah, you're a little bit more unhinged, so you can be Lindsay Lohan. Okay, okay. Uh, this is this is turning a little different than what I expected. Um, but yeah, sure. A little Freaky Friday action. Things are switching up, going a little differently. Uh, this number has come down a little bit in the last couple of minutes. I guess they missed a couple of shots now sitting at over 238.5. Again, this is a very, very uh, experimental episode. Our first ever NBA episode. We'll be doing NBA episodes Wednesday, Friday, Sunday to fit like the busiest days of the NBA week. But yeah, this thing's uh, moving down a little. They're clearly struggling. We know they've been hot tonight, especially the Knicks. I think they keep cooking. I think they keep cooking. So let's let's go with the over. Let's go over 237. What's the NBA? Yeah, I know, right? Who, who is this guy talking about the NBA? I'm, I'm looking uh, at the scores. Miles McBride. That's not the Miles McBride, is it? The one from uh, – no, I'm thinking Deuce of Mike McBride. Miles. Miles McBride. Deuce, I was thinking oh, Mike it's Miles. all the way back to 240 and a half now. 239. All right, I'm getting 239 and a half. Go lock it in. I missed my 237. All right, that is Virginia Knicks Virginia Raptors two hundred and thirty nine. Wait, what'd you, what'd you take? What'd you take? Knicks Raptors over two hundred and thirty nine point five. When shock quality says that teams are hot, I am trusting it, which is different than what I do in college. It's when team shock quality says teams are hot, I trust it. So teams you're just reversing lot. it basically now. I am. And again, it has to do with what I've seen and what I've felt. And I, I feel like, you know, we've done a couple NBA bets here and there. And every time I like take that under because we have both arrows pointing down, the Knicks are getting 1.8 points per shot. It's like I get it wrong. So we're testing it out. We're testing it out. If it go, we'll test it for the first week. If it goes terribly, you guys can all roast me in the comments and fade me. And then I'll eventually just switch and we'll go the other way with it. And we'll. I mean, it's we'll just, what we'll Dante DiVincenzo it. has made 15 threes in the last two games heading into this game against the Raptors. And then when you go to the score center, it says he's hot with six actual uh, points to two. Come on. Shot. Like, that's defense, how it he's works. Cooking. He's just hot, right? NBA players are the best shooters in the world, right? And when they can shoot, when they can hit these rims, when they can place it on a dime, it doesn't really matter. And, uh, yeah, that's what we're seeing. We're seeing the Knicks just score a lot more points than expected. I think it keeps up. We'll find out. We'll find out. Stick around. We'll, uh, we'll have some fun figuring it out. We'll be uh, tweeting about it, talking about it. Follow us on socials. I'm Justin Perry. That's Alec Musa. We just spent the last weekend hanging out in Vegas at Circus Sports. Uh, Musa, we shot an awesome video, honestly. I, I, I really thought that we did a great job uh, getting a – a video crew in Circa Sports. I definitely think you guys should all go check the video out. Uh, we'll give you a little a little sneak preview here. Let's see. Vegas, Nevada, one of the best places to sports bet maybe in the world. All right, so when you're here in Vegas, we are Who's here that? trying to earn a little bit of nice hat. win, beat the book, get your trip paid yeah. for. Now, how you're going to do that is truly developing an actual edge. You all don't want right, to come right, out right, here right. and you just be guessing it, or placing a shot quality bets, YouTube, check it out. Can't spoil the whole thing, everything we talked about. But Moose is in it too. I am in it. in it. Too. Can't miss me. Uh, big shout out to my buddy Rotas, who uh, volunteered that he is one of the biggest college basketball sickos in the world. I, I truly, what, 30 hours? Just go watch the video. Anyway, uh, it's on Shock Quality Bets YouTube. Make sure you like and subscribe. We are so close to a thousand subscribers, guys. If you have not done it, please do us the favor and help us hit that milestone. They say your first thousand subscribers is the toughest, so we're almost done with that one. So that's cool. Um, yeah, man, New York keeps scoring. Look at that, sixty points now. So let's hope it just continues climbing. Let's get a couple more plays on the board, Moose. Let's keep putting this hypothesis to work. I like the volume shooting method because it does allow me to you know uh get answers quickly right you make two plays on a hypothetical edge you're not really going to know uh very quickly if it's true or not you make 50 plays eh, you're going to get an idea so um we're seeing an interesting scenario the clippers underperforming right now by seven the 76 is underperforming by three it just shifted to six um 
Portland and the, and the Atlanta. Looks like Atlanta's hot. They're outperforming expectations by nine. Uh, Portland over is outperforming expectations by just three. I might expect Atlanta to stay hot, given what I've been talking about, given what I've been saying in all this. Uh, watching this Knicks Raptors line live and good litmus test for how you're doing is literally where you can get currently get in. Still sitting 239 and a half on DraftKings, so nothing too crazy there. Um, yeah, we need we need uh, the magic kind of maybe to slow it down a little bit. Let's see what that team line is right now. Team prop currently sitting at 93 and a half. Okay, so two points better, one buck. It's going to be tight. These are going to be tight lines. The NBA you know, is a very, very hyper-efficient market. So it's going to be interesting to see if we can beat these lines and see how it does to find verticals. We might end up diving into live player props as well. We have some really cool data, uh, and, and we'll start testing all of that as well. I'm honestly really excited to kind of look into, like, all right, you know, what happens if we go back into this Orlando Magic Golden State Warriors game? We kind of start to look at some of the players – who are cold, right? You say, you know, bon Paulo Boncaro is currently expected to have 17 points. That's that's pretty significant. He actually has 11. So uh, it's going to be very interesting to see. And, and maybe right now I'm going to actually look it up. I'm going to find out what his line is on player points. And we're going to take, we're going to play. We're going to make a play. So let's wait for these lines to come out. Paulo Boncaro is at 22 and a half. He's cold. I'm going to bet him to stay cold because that is my hypothesis. The cold stays cold in the NBA. The cold gets back to normal in college. Let's see how it goes. We're going to lock in the under 22 and a half points live prop from Paolo Banquero as our first ever prop play here on Betcast. All right. All right. Again, uh, we're going small. I'm at half units still. Moose is at half units, which is a little different than normal. But – uh, being a little cautious because we're testing some things out. If you're new and you want to, you know, see how we do, no, no shame. I'm kind of interested myself. But uh, yeah, no, this is this is going to be fun. It's now on minus 130 for the under. So I don't know if that's us doing a little work, but let's see how the shock quality score goes. I mean, you know, he's expected to have 17. He's clearly a little off. And that's a big number. I think maybe another thing we could maybe try to build in is a. Uh, a, a, maybe a relative sensitivity to these things instead of a uniform li like uh, like a linear sensitivity where it's just a benchmark sensitivity like a certain number indicates an emoji maybe we have to do a, a relative percent difference from the expected and the actual to indicate the emoji so that it's a little bit uh, easier to identify betting opportunities and such like that okay anyway everyone's on point for golden state so no true opportunities like that and what I mean, it's like, okay, there's a cold symbol for Wagner, but he has a three-point difference. And there's a cold sig signal for Suggs, and he has a, a six-point difference, and he actually has one point on an expected seven. That's another big margin, Moose. I think let's let's double test this out. Let's go and we'll do an under on Jalen Suggs' points as well. I expect him to stay cold throughout this game. Under five and a half points. Terrible, terribly low. Oh, just popped off. Now it's under four and a half. I think I'm, I might just be okay. We'll monitor that one. And you know what? We'll play it. I'll go quarter unit just because it's so weird. And you could hit like two shots and that would that would win it. And he might just be done for the night, third quarter. But let's try it. Under four and a half points for Suggs minus one. All right, Musa, you got anything you like? I'm going to go enter those plays on the sheet because we are missing our good buddy, Maximilian, who is normally here helping us out so much. But I got... Von Caro under, I'm adding it now, Von Caro under 22.5, minus 115. And I got Suggs under 4.5, minus 105. So uh, the Suggs one was a quarter unit. Everything is going at point, uh, fives normally for me, and we're testing this all out. We got the sheet updating. You can check that out. We posted it in the comments if you need it. Uh, I can just post it again right now. But Moose, anything you're seeing, bud? Yeah, I mean – I know you grabbed the Knicks under. Um, uh, I know yeah. that, like, you already look like the Cavs Hornets game got in at, I think, under 242 and a half. And now it's already up to 251 and a half because they're red hot coming out. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. Wizards, Magic. Eh, it's about pacing the same number. I think 195 ish. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The Nets, it's now a one point game. Magic so staying crazy. cold, though. 
I, you notice that magic number, the discrepancy is mm -hmm. growing, right? When we placed it, it was like 15, 16 point difference between shot quality, it's now 20. So they are actually, again, getting colder, not back to expected. So win one for the good guys. You're in trouble, Musa. Damn, Cam, Th Cam Thomas has 24 points for the Nets, but they can't seem to pull away, which I would like to. I mean, there's so the thing with the NBA is there's 20 minutes and 15, 57 seconds left. So it's right. Who knows right. at this point? It's the NBA. Uh, Cam see. Thomas, interesting. Yeah, his closing player line at 24 and a half. We have some of these as well. So if we have the closing player line data, we'll show that off. Marvin Bagley, double fire. Uh, Don't that, call him a bus. Don't call him a bust. What I wonder what his number is at. He might continue to just get minutes to the end of this game. Let's let's test it out. I'm gonna keep testing, guys. That's the fun about this stuff. I'm I'm betting small, I'm playing responsibly. I'm gonna go find a Marvin Bagley live over. He's already at 14. I tend to think they just, you know, you can ride the hot hand in the NBA. It happens. So let's go into this Brooklyn Nets game versus the Washington Wizards. Find some player points. Marvin Bagley currently sitting. It's off the board at DraftKings. Give me a second. It's looking like it's at 21 and a half. Wow. So he would needs to eight more points here through most of the second half. All right. Let's see if it pops up. Let's see if it pops up. Waiting for that line to open. Come on, DraftKings. Uh, the Wizards are shooting Steve Nash slash numbers. 57%, 42%, 90%. Wow. Bagley just scored. He's got his 16th point. So it's going up. They're they're recalibrating here. You can see it's literally rising. I'm I'm waiting. I'm gonna hit it when it opens. Come on. I'm Come gonna on, check another Brooklyn. book. I'm gonna check another Brooklyn. book. They're playing it's team. It's disappointing. They're playing team now. Are they? Is that true? Man, I can't. I know, dude, almost it's everyone makes a damn NBA playoff. Well, no, I mean yeah. they're the 11th, so I wouldn't say they're like they're close, but not okay, off good. I'm, 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 that'd be uh, that'd be. Impressive. All right, player points. Marvin Bagley, uh, not available on draft on FanDuel. Wow, it is a it's a tough market out here. I think uh, maybe we we got some uh, some people watching this show. I don't know. Anyway, Marvin Bagley's off the board. I'm not going to waste too much time, but uh, I would take that over for him to get to 22, 23. Would not shock me tonight. We'll check it just as a hypothesis. We'll write it down. Um, I'll just say Justin uh, thinks Bagley gets 23. 22 plus. All right. Um, we'll see how that goes with the hot takes, baby. Sometimes they don't even let you bet it. Player props are definitely difficult live to get the best number in. Uh, but yeah, let's keep on grinding. He's at 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Um, all right. Still not on the board, man. They don't want me to have it. All right. Anything else, Moose? You, we got some fun stuff in. A couple bets. We've been here I'll now. I'll be in the we, Discord, we, we, to be honest. I want to I want to see how some of these games play out and then jump on. Yeah, you're right with the, the magic to stay right on it. Oh, and um, you took you took Cavs Hornets, right? Yeah, I took the under there. Not going great at 90, all. But it, what was the number you got? Uh, 242 and a half, 241 and a half, okay. something like that. Oh, I it's at 249 and a half. It's not impossible. Again, like with the NBA. No, it's it, not. It's not. But, you know – I. I'm out here to tell you, I told you so, and it's hey, it's, it's one I really, day. It's one day. I'm not too worried. Oh, it's going to be a long month then, my friend. Uh, but yeah, toast. Big shout out to you too, buddy. You're doing some great work. I know you guys got a lot of stuff uh, going on. If you're not stressing, Norfolk State I plus know, two right now. What are you doing? Uh, enjoying. The calm and peace in my life, Brock. To Toasty's the go. If anyone's a baseball fan here and wants to know about spin rate on like Bryce Miller's sinker on spring training, hit up Toasty. Guy for you. Sure, hold on. Guy for you. Uh, UNLV kind of brought it back. Only 20 now. Uh, maybe again, we see this game kind of finishing up. If you want to get in, I don't hate it. You're going to probably get a better number than I got right now. Let's see what is available there. College basketball men's currently sitting. At 18 and a half, so beating my number by two points. And you could have gotten a better number a while ago. So, uh, yeah, Norfolk State looking good. It's going to be a sweaty finish there. Wouldn't play anything too much. We're going to have Utah VCU as well. Um, and, and tomorrow we have games. It's Ooh, called the March. Tomorrow, man. yes. We do. It's going to be a great day. It's going to be a great day. All night, though. It's a little disappointing. Be honest, does San Diego State there. have a chance to win tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't actually made my plays yet. I'm going to be doing that tonight. 
Um, it's UConn. I said to win, yeah. not cover. I said to win. I think uh, to win, no. Probably <laughs> not. Um, but uh, we'll see. I, ho- I hope we get a great game. Uh, now, I-, I did say I think the Hawks stay hot. They've taken the lead here. It's probably easy to stay hot against the Portland Trail Blazers. Um, I'm going to. Ooh, I'm going to take the team total over for the Atlanta Hawks. I think it just, I think it just becomes this clinic. I'm going to get a play right. in here. It's fine. This team total over They're 10 points overperforming. Uh, I, I expect to stay hot. If they're already at 63 points. It's 63 55. Let's get in here. Team props currently getting Atlanta Hawks over 122 and a half minus 115. Let's go ahead and lock that one. All right. I like it. I like it. Hawks over 22 and 122 and a half minus 115. All right. Yep. That's just their team total. Just want to make sure that's very clear on the score sheet. Got some fun ones, guys. This is going to be a good finish. Six plays for me, five at the half unit. Moose, you got four. Is that right? Did I miss anything? No, I got the two college game. Well, the one college game twice. And then I got the yes. Nets. No, I have five. I have five. I got Nets minus Holy seven and a half, Cavs under 241 and a half, Warriors over 197 and a half, uh, yep. Norfolk State under 151 and a half, and then uh, Nor- Norfolk State to lose. So I'll just say IPFW. Yep. Money line. Okay. Which it's it's PFW great. now. Don't don't let the Horizon fans get mad at oh, you. Oh, that's, right. that's right. That's right. A few years ago. I. Yeah, don't don't uh don't make yourself look like you don't know what you're talking about. It, it was better that way. I kind of like Indiana. What was it? Indiana, Purdue, Fort Wayne, Indiana, right? No, no, no. Yeah, you're thinking of IUPUI, which was Indiana oh. University, Purdue University, Indianapolis. <laughs> I'm thinking of I- yeah. Indiana, Purdue, Fort Wayne. Wait, I think they're going India. They're going to Indiana University, Indianapolis soon. By the way, so I believe it will not be IUPUI. In the in a few years, so uh, yeah. Hey, big haircut guys over here. I got I got one too. I got a, I got a Vegas haircut. It's just uh, end of we're the looking, day. We're looking fancy. We're looking fancy. Hey, you know what it is. You know what it is. It's uh, shock quality live bedcast, baby. The only show that uses shock quality regression data to make these plates. What you're looking at on the screen is our unique, one of a kind, jet setting, industry defining, making everybody jealous type data that we. Get from literally what's going on in the in the game as it's happening, comparing to our unique location-based sharp player databases to understand how good each player is at truly taking the shots on the court so that we can grade them at our own expectations. So that you, we can tell you, hey, this team's hot, this team's cold. And then from there, how you bet, how we bet. Well, we'll figure that out. NBA, you know, just getting started on the show, our first ever NBA episode. We still Made a couple college plays. I'm sure we'll do a similar thing on Friday night when we're here for our next episode at 7.45. Make sure you set your calendars. Make sure you turn on notifications with live video on Twitter if you're watching there. Make sure you like and subscribe on YouTube if you're over there. Uh, we're having a great a great time with it. The most, uh, I think the best part about this whole thing is that it is a fun way to attack the game. It gives you a new edge. And, of course, when the game is going, you get more information on how teams are playing than – what's going on pre-tip, right? Like you don't know how it's going to look out there. Shot quality live, the data, the tools that we have alongside actually getting to see how a game is going, who's shooting hot, who's playing well. You have an advantage, and we're showing it here three times a week. So Wednesday, Friday, Sunday for NBA BetCast right here, wherever you're watching it. Uh, We'll take a quick look. We're going to half. Nick's uh, still scoring. Like Here's uh, a question before before we bounce. Here's a question before we get out of here. What do you got? Okay, so you know how, like, in college basketball, we're like, oh, like, the nine-minute marker in the second half, like, you're, that's probably the cutoff. Eight if you're really risky after that. Hell no. What about the NBA? Fourth quarter, third, after fourth quarter bets? Or? Yeah, yeah. I would, I would probably say by that same logic, you, you can go a little into the fourth quarter. Uh, you know, nine minutes, ten minutes left in that game. You, you probably are, are saying, all right, not enough time for the regression or lack thereof to really take place and for me to be able to beat the efficiency models that are pricing these live lines. Um, And, you know, uh, there could be a lot of arguments on how those pricings work and what they come from, but 
they do depend a lot on the closing line, right? Like the expected efficiency over the game, unless it's a player hurt or something like that, uh, is usually very set by what that, you know, uh, long-term expectation is, which is, again, the close. Um, and again, if we have more information on what's going on in the game, maybe a specific matchup is cooking. Maybe the Knicks are scoring 80, gosh dang, points in a half. They might, the Knicks, well, you don't think the Knicks are going to put up 140 points tonight? They got good. Um, Capable. Uh, wow. Wow. Uh, I think it, Mitch Robinson back tonight, right? Let's go Knicks. Big, big day for the Knicks. I, Knicks. I cannot wait for this team. This is, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Yeah. Miles McBride cooking. Mitch Robinson back on the floor. Uh, don't let us get Julius Randle back, man. This is going to be a scary team in the East. Really exciting. Really uh, want to say thank you to everyone who's watching, of course. Uh, Turkey Steve. I appreciate that, but you know, I I do I do <laughs> still name. sometimes I, I do still sometimes need a little boost, so I appreciate it. But hey, uh, big shout out to everybody who came through in Vegas. A lot of friends, met a lot of new people, got to you know hang out with some great people over at Circa. The team at Circa totally took care of us, hooked us up with media passes, let us bring a pro camera That's into cool. the casino to shoot footage. Go watch that video on the YouTube; it's out right now. We're going to be pumping that video. You're going to see it. You're going to watch. So let's go check it out. We talk about how you can get an edge, what can set you apart, maybe a little bit more geared towards beginners. But if you're just getting started in betting, basketball, college, March Madness, it's a great, great look. And we'll have some more stuff coming as well. We'll be back Friday, right? A little, little Friday night action, a little Friday NBA. Spend the start to your weekend with us, live betting. Hopefully we hit some of these picks. We will tweet out the results tonight when the final bet is graded. Till then, I'm Justin Perry. That's Alec Musa. This is the NBA Score Center, powered by Shot Quality Live Data, the one of a kind interface that lets you get a feel for the games while they're happening, so that you can place sharper live bets. We're testing hypotheses. We don't fully know which way it's going to go. I think hot teams stay hot. Moose thinks the regression is going to come. Find out what happens. See what the results are. Play along. Enjoy. We'll be back Friday to discuss, to keep fine-tuning our strategies and, you know, to go fully get it right. NBA Bet Dash. Thanks for watching, man. Catch you later. Come on, Nats. The Nats have to figure it out. Book. Book.